So I've got on my front door. So postman, anybody come to the door that doesn't know Ali, this is the first thing you see. Take care, of a person with autism in an emergency. Occupant may not speak or respond to verbal requests, may resist help or run away, may behave unexpectedly, may have no awareness of danger. Now this is a like emergency medical card that I got made up for Ali. Um, and again this is for emergencies. Now because Ali can run or boat or do a little Houdini as I like to say, it's kind of handy to have cards like these. Now this has got his picture and it says, I have an autism spectrum disorder. My communication skills aren't great and I can't always control my behaviour. I may not be able to respond to your verbal skills or understand your emotions. Please be patient with me. See the reverse of my emergency con for my emergency contact details. Now the reason why it has that on it is because like I know Ali's triggers and even with knowing Ali's triggers sometimes he can have meltdowns, he can have full on meltdowns, he can react in certain ways, even me knowing his triggers and what upsets him and all the rest of it. But for people that don't, if Ali happened to get away from me or a carer or somebody else uh, in his care, like a family member or whatever, this would be on his person. Now Ali does not like wear jewellery. He will not have a wallet on him because he doesn't like the bulky feel of it in a pocket or anything like that. And um, if he did abscond, if he had a jacket on, it would be um, in his jacket pocket. Now, generally speaking, since this card has been pulled together, Ali has never gotten away from anybody. But what I also want to do is I'm going to, have to try and find a picture or something to show you. Again, Ali won't wear an ID bracelet. He's not into jewellery. He doesn't like the feel. He will not wear anything that he can feel on his person that's different to what's on his body if you know what I mean so it's very hard to have something on him or on his person that if he got away from myself or a carer or anything that you could um, what I've actually had done I haven't got them ordered yet because I don't have the money but um, I'm trying to get um, some autism related awareness t-shirts So that if, for example, he happened to be out and he had a t-shirt that said, like, on it somewhere, I'm autistic, um, it would flag people's attention if needed to be. Also, I have contacted him at a local police station and said to them about how Ali is. Now, the last time he managed to escape out of the house, I nearly gave me a heart attack, was a while now, it was um, a year or so ago, um, I've now got a... a a seven foot gate at the back of the house, which I'll show you in a second, that prevents Ali from, even if he gets out of the house, getting out of the garden. Um, so, because he will run straight to a main road, he will not he will not pay attention if there's traffic, he will just run straight for the biggest road he can find, because he's obsessed with cars and buses and lorries and things like that. So before we had the gate on, he got out of the back window. Now this is how clever he is. He basically ran to the back door, now uh, the back window. Now normally when he comes down the stairs he'll jump off the last three steps so you'll hear a bang when he jumps down off the last three steps coming from the upstairs to the downstairs when he's just generally coming downstairs but it just shows you when he doesn't want to be heard he can be sneaky. So this one time he came down the stairs Unbeknown to me, I was on the phone in the living room. I did not hear him coming down the stairs. I did not hear him going past the door, anything. He was silent. How he managed it, I don't know, but he was stealthy. He ran to the back room or went through to the back room and all I heard was a door shutting. But I never really twigged it was down the stairs because it sounded far away. So I thought it was upstairs. The next minute I saw him running past the living room window. Now basically, to cut a long story short, how he got out was he got out of the back before he went out of the back window and over the small gate that used to be there, he locked the back bedroom door from the inside. Yeah, so basically he then got out of the, out of the window and out, oh, pretty much pulled Walter over the gate that was there and got out. Now he was found and everything like that, no problems. 
but just shows you how quick and how clever he is of being able to premeditate that because he he knew because he heard there was something going on down there I can't remember what drew his attention and he must have thought in his head he must have come to so far down the stairs heard me on the phone thought mummy's sidetracked right now for two seconds he knew he had a window of opportunity like seconds before I would clock him anyway um I phoned the police and everything and the police have him registered now and it's basically for his own safety. They know his full name, they know his date of birth, they know he lives here, they know I'm his mother, they know that um, my full name, of all my contact details, my email, my uh, home phone number, my mobile number, everything like that, they know all that. So they also have up to date pictures and I keep forwarding them up to date pictures every so often to make sure they've got a likeness because sometimes Ali can be clean shaven sometimes he can have a small beard like in this picture and other times he's got a bigger beard and um, it really just depends on how he's feeling because he's a bit weird about getting shaved as well sometimes he likes to be hairy uh, I, I think it's a sensory thing and then sometimes he doesn't and it annoys him and he wants it all off so it's a long story Anyway, I'm going to take you out the back to show you the gate that's now there as opposed to the gate that was there. So I'm going to show you now the gate and the gate that was there. Now, I don't, cause I don't want to be speaking about this outside, but um, um, my immediate neighbour knows about this because uh, he kind of saw and was aware of what was going on and like had told me if I need to attach the gate to his garage, you could and all the rest of it. Um, I'd said to the landlord about Ali getting out and um, would she um, even go half hours to do a replacement gate because it was for a safety reason. She told me that the gate that was there was perfectly functional or functioning. There was nothing wrong with it and you'll see in a minute how that's taken the mick. But anyway, you will see uh, the gate that she had in and the gate that I had to go through occupational therapy to get put in for Ali as a safety reason. So hang on a sec. Okay, this will give you a laugh, right? This is the gate that the landlord had in. It's all rusty, like really, really, really badly rusty. Like, you can see how bad that is, right? Totally fall to bits. Had to use wires and cable ties and all sorts to try and keep the gate tied to the post that it was on to stop Ali opening it. Right, to give you an indication of size, hang on. Uh, that gives you an indication of size. It's approximately mm, four foot, right? So that's the gate that was there. This is the gate that we had to put in. Let's just show you the difference in what I mean. This is the gate that's now in place. It's a seven foot gate with a padlock on it. Yeah, the treads are on the opposite side, like you can see there. It's a saw pile ever getting a foothold if you did try and climb over it. So that's padlocked all the time. So yeah, see the difference in size of that? I think that's the top of next door's garage, right? So it'll give you an indication of height, right? That's the height of it. That's the top of his garage roof. See how high that is? Right. So that is what it looks like. Right, I'll get I'll take a picture in a minute and put it in the next bit so you get an idea. And then that picture I just showed you before in the video again that rusty thing. was what we're in and the landlord would not replace or even go half hours to get that new gate put in for safety reasons. Yeah, kitchen landlord was just all about the money. So yeah, that's one of the safety things put in the garden to stop Ali absconding now.